Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Mr. Doctor Who Fan 13 Doctor Who DVD review. Now, I know I usually do Doctor Who DVD reviews on, um, on Wednesdays, but today I have the day off school because it's an insect day, so I thought I might, I thought, I just thought to myself, why not throw up a video on my day off? So, um, Yes, yeah, so, this is actually a review I wanted to do by myself, this wasn't requested by anyone. Now, I do have a, one more requested review, but that's actually going to be, um, because, um, someone requested me to review the Revisitations 2 box set, but you know what, I thought I'll be extra, extra nice to them, and I will be reviewing all three Revisitations box sets over the next, uh, three weeks. And also, I think you're probably going to get, uh, now I'll probably review all three Revisitations box sets this week. I'll review one today, then two on Wednesday for the usual slot, and three maybe at the weekend, so, yeah. Without further ado, though, let's get into today's review, which is Doctor Who, the Revisitations 1 box set, starring Tom Baker, Peter Davison, and Paul McGann. Now, so, uh, this box set actually, um, includes special editions of the, uh, of three classic Doctor Who stories that got, like, um, really early DVD releases with hardly any special features on. This includes special editions of A Talent of Wang Chiang, The Case of Androzani, and Doctor Who the Movie. Now, on the box set, we've got, you know, it's a pretty simple box set, really, it's, um, Nothing special. You got the shiny Doctor Who logo, but because it's like a Revisitations box set, it's got nothing too special on it. I mean, there's really not much to say about it. It's just got Revisitations one in the middle. The list of the uh, stories on it. Um, and it's a uh, rated twelve because of one story in this, which is a uh, that one there, Doctor Who the movie. So, yeah, on the spine there, as you can see. You've got uh, the usual stuff again. Uh, Doctor Who, blah blah blah. Here you see Towns of Lang Chang, Visitations 1, Kids Avengers Only, Doctor Who the movie. Same on the other side again. And on the top, unlike the other box set, we just box sets, we just got Doctor Who. We haven't got the name of the box set. Weird, but oh well. I guess it's sort of trying to make this box set unique because it is unique in a way. Special editions of. Uh, some classic adventures, so, um, overall, box that are not very creative, it's, it's alright, you know, for what this box art is, it's, eh. but, um, but I guess, uh, maybe the main meat will make up for it, so, yeah. also on the bottom here, you've got, uh, the usual stuff that no one cares about, 331 minutes, 12, blah, 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 so, uh, yeah, we've got your three stories there. So, without further ado, um, I was, I was sure I was missing something else, but, uh, I don't know that. Yep, so, without further ado, let's take out the main meat of the box set. So... Here we've got uh, the uh, three Doctor Who DVDs, the three special editions included in this box set, starring Tom Baker, Peter Davison, and Paul McGann. And uh, so, without further ado, oh I yeah, that what I forgot to mention is that this box set is a seven disc set, so that's pretty good. But anyway, back but back on topic now. So without further ado, we are going to start out by taking a look at the first of the three DVDs in this box set, which is the special edition of The Talons of Wang Chiang, starring Tom Baker. The uh, season, uh, I think, it's, yeah, it's a season 14 finale. So, uh, yeah, The Talons of Wang Chiang. Now, this is considered to be a classic, but... Anyway, 
first before I get into that all that got the uh, usual stuff on the front got BBC Dot 2 the Talents of Chang Special Edition it's a uh, three disc set which is pretty good and it's from the Tom Baker years 1974 through 81 um, PG box art really good actually you've got uh, lots going on you've got the fourth doctor you've got Mr. Chang there, Mr. Sin, Wang Chiang, the dragon thing, and the uh, time door thing. I forgot what it's called now. I want to say the time key, but it's not the time key. And on the spine, we've got uh, usual stuff BBC, Doctor of Towns, Wang Chiang. On the back, we've got uh, lovely pictures again. Really nice pictures there. So, Doctor Who, The Towns of Wang Chang by Robert Holmes, starring Tom Baker. Death stalks of fog-bound, na fog-bound streets of Victorian London. Young women are going missing. Horribly mu mutilated bodies are found floating in the Thames, and criminal gang ter gangs terrorise the innocents. At the heart of the this tangle web sits the mysterious... Lee Sen Chang, sorcerer and hypnotist, and his grotesque sidekick, the all too lifelike, uh, the all too lifelike ventro ventriloquist's dummy, Mr. Sin. The Doctor run dons deer stalker and cape to seek out the sinister f force. Looking in the shadows of Metropolis for the talons of Wang Chiang. Ah, 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 he said it. <laughs> no, 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 not that. <laughs> Are reaching out to shred the human race. And they uh, got your list of special features here. Now, because this uh, DVD is three discs long, there are so many special features. That's a huge right, as you can see. Uh, the story was originally broadcast on BBC One between 26th of February and 2nd of April 1977. Uh, it was produced by Philip Hinchcliffe, directed by David Maloney, blah, 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 and it's uh, 146 minutes long, and, uh, yep, all that good stuff. Right, so, inside the box, of course, as, you, as soon as you open it, you'll notice it's three discs long, which is absolutely huge for a story that's only six episodes. Uh, on the front, you've got, um, you know, the script, the usual stuff, you've got the buckler, um, thing, usual stuff, description, scene selection, special features, there's absolutely loads on this, again, because it's a three-disker, and, uh, now, you'd think because it's a three-disker, like, the story would be split, like, three episodes on disc one, three episodes on disc two, and special features on disc three, or well, no, all six episodes are on disc one. I think some special features. But the majority of special features are on the next two discs. Disc 2, which has special features. And, last but not least, Disc 3, which has even more special features. So, there's loads and loads of special features on this DVD. That's absolutely brilliant. So, even without the Caves of Androzani and Doctor of the Movie, which are only like two discs each, I'd, I'd still recommend it just for this three disc. I mean, it's got so many special features. And so, yeah, but anyway, now for my opinion on the talents of Wang Chiang. It's a classic, everyone knows, is it? That I, I really shouldn't have to say much about it. It was a great finale to season 14. Um, shame Leela had to cover herself up, though. Uh, it was her third story. It was great, great, great. Great third story for Leela, and an excellent finale for season 14. But one thing though, Tom Baker, for some reason, does not remember anything about this story at all. Which is weird, which is probably why he didn't do a commentary on it, but... Commentary on it, because he doesn't say uh, Tom Baker in... Uh, wait, hang on. The last hurrah, Tom Baker. They discussed the maker of the. Oh my god. 
But uh, yeah, so anyway, the Towns of Wang Chiang, great story and great three disc special edition. And now for the second of the three stories on this, we have The Caves of Androzani, starring Peter Davison. Now, uh, this is obviously Peter Davison's final story and also the penultimate story to season 21. But uh, let's take a look at the box first. You've got um, Thought Through the Case of Androzani Special Edition. It's from the uh, Peter Davison years, 1982-1984. PG. But for some reason, it doesn't say anywhere on this. Two discs. I mean, it's. I just looked inside. It is two discs, but it doesn't say that anywhere. Don't know why. <laughs> anyway, on the spine, it's uh, got you. You got your usual stuff. Well, maybe they were just too lazy to put on two discs set, but yeah. So anyway, we've got uh, more nice pictures here. Doctor Who: The Case of Androzani by Robert Holmes, starring Peter Davison. Uh, as you obviously, as you know, this is a uh, Perry Second Story as well. But anyway. On the cave-riddled world of Androzani Minor, the Doctor and Perry inadver inadvertently find them themselves enmeshed in a war between the ruthless General Chelak and the sinister Shiraz Jack and his army of androids. The duplic... The, the duplicate... The duplicitous politician... Sorry about that. Morgus wants Chelek to execute the time travellers as spies, while the disfigured Jack seems to keep Perry forever hostage within with his stronghold. But the Doctor soon realises an even more gruesome fate awaits them. They have been infected with fatal Spectrox toxemia and there is no cure. Haunted by both factions and with death just hours away, how far must the Doctor go in order to save his friend's life? To the point of regeneration, of course. He didn't actually say that, but I thought I mentioned that. Yeah, I know, spoilers, whatever, but every Huvian must have seen the story here. And then we've got a uh, special list of special features here, blah, blah, blah. So it was originally broadcast on BBC One between 6th, 8th and 6th, sorry, 8th and 16th of March 1984, produced by Don Nathan, John Nathan Turner and directed by Graham Harper. And I believe this was uh, Graham Harper's first story that he directed. He's, also done great direction with modern stories such as Rise of the Cybermen and Age of Steel and The Stolen Earth and Journey's End, so... Yeah. Anyway. So. Inside here, we've got, a uh, usual booklet thing. We've got description, blah, 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 scene selections, special features. And it's, uh, two discs long. We've got, a uh, disc one here. And, uh, disc two right here. So, the case of Androzani. Uh, this is one I really don't need to say much about. Again, like the Talents of Wang Chang, it's a classic that everyone says it is. Absolutely brilliant finale for Peter Davison. Great penultimate story to season 21. And a great second story for Perry as well. Absolutely brilliant story. I You need to see it. Yeah, just go watch it. I'm not going to say anymore. Like the Towns of Wang Chiang, I cannot say much about it. But, uh, yeah. So, sorry about that. Now, we move on to the final DVD of the box set, and which is the only 8th Doctor TV story. The reason that this box set is a 12, it is, of course, Doctor Who the Movie starring Paul McGann. Now, um, this story, uh, well, first let's take a look at the, uh, Stuff on the DVD. Got a uh, main thing here, Doctor Who the movie. It's a two disc set. It says it there, but it doesn't say it on the case of Andrew's eye for some reason. But anyway, it says two disc set there. Straight 12. Signed Paul McGann as the Doctor. Don't know why it doesn't say the Paul McGann years 1986, but I don't know. Anyway, um, so the cover here is pretty good. You've got uh, the eighth Doctor, a rather attractive Grace Holloway here, which she. That's, I don't think that's actually what 
she looks like in the actual film she looks like much up she looks a bit older and less attractive but she looks really young and attractive on this box on this box art so <laughs> yeah and we've got the mask here and the Tyson interior there. It's actually a pretty epic box art because we've got a uh, lightning going on in the background and it's just, it's just it just looks epic. So um, yeah, on the spine we've got a uh, usual stuff. Doctor of the movie, blah blah blah. On the back, uh, again more pictures. Doctor Who the movie by Matthew Jacobs starring Paul McGann. The Doctor is returning home to Gallifrey with the remains of his arch nemesis, the Master. Forced off course, the TARDIS arrives in San Francisco on New Year's Eve 1999, where the Doctor is critically wounded in a gangland gun battle. At the local hospital, Dr. Grace Holloway fights and falls to save his life. Later in the morgue, the Doctor wakes up a new man, but he is not the only one. The Master has also found himself a new body. As the clock counts down, to the start of a, the new millennium. Can the Doctor stop his oldest enemy from destroying up all life on Earth? Sorry about that, but anyway. So we've got uh, two special features here. We've got uh, commentaries, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, story was originally broadcast on 27th of May, 1996. Uh, produced by Peter V. Ware, executive producers Philip David Siegel, Alex Beaton, and Joe Wright, directed by Jeffrey Sachs. And uh, so, yeah. So, anyway. Now, before we go into it, for some reason, this bit's cracked here. I don't know why. I, I don't know why this um, bit here is cracked. It, it, I mean, it's something I did, obviously. It didn't actually The box didn't actually come like that. I don't know why I cracked it. I, I I was just I don't know. But yeah, on the inside here though we've got a uh, usual stuff. It's two discs long. So um yes we've got a uh, and uh, again usual thing here. You know the score we've done. This is done three of these. <laughs> so yeah we've got a usual story summary, thin selection, uh, special features. And uh, again, it's two discs long. We've got a uh, disc one here and disc two, obviously behind it there. So yes. All right. Now for my opinion on Doctor Who the movie. Uh, well. I think the majority of you know my feelings for this. I mean, when I first watched it, I thought it was, you know, want as bad as people said. Then I watched it again, and I thought, oh uh, my god. Um, I mean, I can sort of, when I first watched it, I appreciated it for what it was. Like, I could sort of like it for what it was. But then I realised, like, this is not Doctor Who. Like, it's all Americanized. I mean, there's some ridiculous scenes in it that don't even make any sense. Like, the motorbike chase scene. That's absolutely hilarious. But it's some, and it's awesome, but it's something that actually doesn't belong in Doctor Who. And despite the fact that the special effects are actually really good, because obviously it's a movie. Oh my god. I mean, Paul McGann's a great Doctor. I mean, obviously... He should have been given more of a chance. He's my least favourite Doctor out of all of them. But that doesn't mean to say that he's bad. He, I like all the Doctors and Paul McGann is no exception. So, uh, yeah. It wasn't as good as the others though. And just the Master in this was really turned down. I mean, he was sort of like a comedian in this. I mean, it was American and he was a comedian. It's just like... That's not the master, if you know what I mean. It's it he it, it, he's just like a rip off of the Terminator. Seriously, that's what it looks like. He he has a leather jacket on. He has sunglasses and all. I mean, it, it's just it's some scenes of the master. One in particular looks like that. This film is trying to rip off the Terminator. So yeah, it, it, this this film is sort of trying too hard to 
but you look, you know, really good and really epic. It's it's just I don't really like it, to be honest. It, it's not that good. It, it's laughably bad. I mean, I also think the Twin Dilemma is better than this. That's not great, but it's still better than this pile of crap. Oh my god. But still, you know what? It's not as bad as some of the stories, like as, such as <clears throat> Terminus, Love of Monsters, and Asylum of the Daleks. <clears throat> but, um, yes. That is... It's absolutely terrible. It's not that good, really. It's it's just an ultimate disaster. But the um, amount of content and special features on it that uh, do make up for it. So yeah. So overall, Revisitations One is a great box set that I recommend to any Doctor Who fan. If you're wanting to get started out in the classic series, and I would recommend this box set. Mostly for the talents of Wang Chiang and the case of Androzani. And obviously if you're a big Dot 2 collector, even if you already had the standard editions of all these DVDs, or at least one of them, I'd still recommend getting this because, I mean, there's more special features, for a start, and there's just more content on the discs. And the box arts are obviously a lot better, so they'll look better on your shelves as well. And I, 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 I just don't have much to say. It's it's an absolutely great box set. I mean, sure, the box art of the box set is not that good. It's just pretty basic. But the box arts of the uh, DVDs more, more than make up for it. And also, the amount of special features that these discs have, the Towns of Wang Chang in particular, just blur any other... Do just blur the standard editions out of the water. I mean... I never, I never had the standard editions of any of these, but I know my uh, best mate has the case of Androzani's standard edition, and he had um, the Talents of Wang Chiang special edition. Then he he came over to mine one day and we watched the Talents of Wang Chiang, and he said that the picture quality was a lot better. So obviously they improved the picture quality from the standard editions, obviously because the standard editions were released early earlier. So yeah. But, um, yeah, if you're a big, massive Dot 2 collector or fan, definitely, I recommend this 100%. And if you wanted to get started out in the classic series, I would recommend that getting this, mostly for the talents of Wang Chang and the Kears of Androzani. The movie, not so much. I, 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 I just count that as modern Who anyway, even though I really sh shouldn't, but because, like, um... It's not like part of the classic series, you know. Just because it was done in the 1900s, to me, does not mean that it's a classic series story. I just think it as, you know, the first modern Who story. But, um, yeah. One other thing I also forgot to mention about the movie is that Sylvester McCoy's performance in it, while he usually is good in Doctor Who, it's not that good in the movie because he, he's not in it for that long anyway. And also it just looks like he's forgotten how to play the Doctor in the, um, how long was it? 89, 90, In the seven years that he, in the seven year break that he had. I mean, he was, he was good at playing the Doctor in Dimensions in Time, despite how crap that was. He was still good at playing the Doctor, but in the movie, he's not that good. He, he, he just look, it just looks like he's forgotten how to play him. But, anyway... So that's it for today. This is Mr. Doctor Who fan 13 saying word out. Join me next time for my next requested review, which will be of Revisitations 2. I will see you next time.